Hello everyone and welcome to the Voice of the Prophet YouTube channel. My name is Prophetess Chanel and if this is your first time joining with us, I want to thank you for coming along. And if this, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back as well. And so I pray that you guys have had a blessed week. I pray that your week was prosperous and productive. I pray that um, you had answered prayers and um, confirmation and insight and instruction given on to you on today. And so today I want to release this word. Um, really is the heart of God. Um, how he's feeling what's on his heart and you know for a while now the Lord has been calling my attention to the orphans and the widows you know if you read the Bible and throughout history, you see in the Bible where God always judged the children of Israel for not taking care of the foreigners, the, judge, the, the, the orphans and the widows. And even in his time, I just heard that there was like this statistic that came out on the news that in the midst of this pandemic, since it started in 2019, there has been 5 million people that have died. And for the past couple months, the Lord has been bringing my attention to those who have been orphaned throughout this pandemic, those who have been widowed, those who have lost, you know, that spouse, those who have lost that person that was, you know, um, financially responsible for them, those who have lost parents, those who have been left without, those key people that have been in his life, been in their lives and he let me feel the heart that he has towards them and so um, if you are one that have lost a, a spouse or you have lost a, a mother or a father or you have been totally orphaned you have lost both of your parents I want to let you know that God is seeing you he's here he hears you and his heart is towards you on today you are on his heart and I want to read this scripture from um, Deuteronomy 8, 10 verse 18. I'm reading from the NLT version and it says, he ensures that orphans and widows receive justice. He shows love to the foreigners living among you and gives them food and clothing. And so as I begin to um, and sit and just really hear from the Lord, what I strongly felt like is that he's going to give you a recompense. If you are, if you have been widowed in this pandemic, you have been orphaned. We see, you know, uh, we prophesy in part. So I don't want to pretend as though you know, I see the whole scope of what God is trying to say, but I do feel as though what he's speaking about is that he is going to provide. He is going to bring a recompense for you from this time that you have lost so much. He is going to be, you know, that security for you. He is going to provide for you. And so whether that's in a form of a legislation, like we see that there has, there is so much, I, I'm from the United States of America. So I'm speaking from that perspective because, you know, I see everything that's going on here, but um, I'm pretty sure around the world, there are other things that have been happening, money that have been given, but particularly in the United States of America, there has been a lot of debate and um, legislation that has tried to be passed um, to, to take care of different people groups, different, you know, things that are happening with those coming across, you know, the foreigners coming across the borders and those who, you know, have been, you know, displaced. And there's a lot of money that's trying to go out right now, even in the midst right now, you know, there's a lot of um, debate going on um, concerning different legislation that needs to be passed. And I am not um, 100% sure if this is going to be on a state level, if this is going to be on, um, a broader level like a piece of legislation being passed down from you know the head office of the president or if this is something that is going to span across different countries i'm not sure exactly how it looks but i know that the lord said he's going to recompense you he is going to make sure that you are not overlooked he is going to make sure that you are taken care of you know god keeps his promises and and one thing that i've learned even in the midst of everything that is happening it really have caused me to kind of go back um where the the Lord has brought my attention back to what really matters to him, like what really sits on his heart. And this um, in particular is one of them. And I did a video before about the foreigners. And if the Lord allows me to release another word, then I will do that concerning that. But there are some things that sit heavy on God's heart. There are some you know, issues. There are some things that injustices that God see and it sit heavy on his heart. And so when he sees that carry out in the earth, you know, no matter what country you're in, no matter what state you're in, no matter what city you're in, you got to know that God sees and God hears and he cares. He says, when the um, oppressed cry out, God hears them. And I want to let you know today, 
that God hears your cry. God hears the cry of your mourning and your loss. God hears the cry of your suffering. God hears your cry of the place of, of, of not having what you used to have. And God said he's going to come. He's going to recompense you and he is going to take care of you. So I just want to declare over you the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. I want to declare over you his love, that he loves you beyond anything, that nothing can separate you from the love of God, not death nor life. You know, situations may have happened. You may have lost that loved one, but that the love that God has for you has not changed. I want to declare the prosperity of God over you, that you will prosper in your mind. You will prosper in your thoughts. You will prosper in your emotions. You will prosper in your, in your living, that you will not feel in that place of um, despair or depression to where, you know, that, that place of mourning will carry out throughout your whole life to where you can't um, be in a place of faith or hope. But I just declare that you will prosper even in the midst of tragedy and loss. And I just thank God that I, 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 I pray that God will heal you in every broken place. And I declare that you will feel the presence of the living God. I pray even over this video, you will feel the presence of the living God coming to comfort you, give you peace and give you that relief that you have been looking for. Yes, God sees. Yes, God hears. And yes, God knows your pain and he's going to do it. So, so may God be glorified in whatever capacity he brings this prophetic word to pass. May he be glorified in whatever he does because what he does is well and what he does is right. We don't know how long it's going to take, but trust and believe God is for the orphans. He's for you. He's for the widow. He is for you, that man, that woman that has lost that spouse in the midst of this pandemic. So on today, people of God, be blessed. And if you know someone who would be encouraged and blessed by this video, please share it with them. So I thank you. I pray that you guys have a fabulous rest of your week and have a good day.